What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Derek O'Shea Show. Are you guys ready for the stupidest story I've seen today? I am ready to see it. I hope you guys are ready to see it. This is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's about a racist rock, but it, <laughs> it must be shared with all. Because that's where we're at. That's where we're at as a society. Uh, this is what we're at. <laughs> Just, you know, if a rock can be a racist, then... Uh, well, anyone could be a racist because a rock doesn't talk and nor does it have uh, any other like emotional history. But apparently a bunch of people called it the N-word head rock and therefore it needs to be moved because I guess if you just start calling something that you don't like in your vision in the world, like, God, this telephone pole is in my way. <laughs> I... What are we? Let's just call it something racial, and you'll get it removed. Let's watch this story. This is just ridiculous. Thank you. A rock that weighs at least 35 tons, possibly as much as 70 tons, is on the move today. UW Madison removed Chamberlain Rock from its two billion year resting place along Observatory Drive. And <laughs> it's been there for two billion years. <laughs> oh, I thought like I thought you guys weren't for moving people out of their homes due to some kind of history. <laughs> you know, just two, two billion years. Get this freaking racist rock out of here. I'm tired of all these white supremacists just getting up and calling this rock the N-word head rock, and it needs to be moved. I, every time I see it, all I can think about is what people call it. <laughs> Trucked it about six miles as the crow flies down to Lake Kaganza. Crews started the work to lift the rock early this morning, hoping they wouldn't be blocking any traffic. And this Have no fear. All right, so if you're worried about this rock and you miss, you're gonna miss seeing it because you miss looking at that rock and calling it racial slurs, just go down, go, go a couple miles down the block and you can go down the lake. You can also have a lake experience while you yell at uh, this rock and racial slurs. <laughs> It's just so stupid. This is this is so dumb. Uh, this is where we're at as a society. We just we lose our minds at the dumbest things, and therefore it's a story. And now we're a victim, and now we're celebrated. <laughs> yes. Probably wouldn't have happened if not for several vocal student groups, including the Black Student <laughs> Union. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't have been moved. It wouldn't have been moved if it wasn't for these eighteen-year-olds who have never had a job and don't know what hard work is. We need to worry about their feelings at the moment. This rock needs to be removed. Today, they wrote the rock symbolized the history of prejudice and racism that has <laughs> taken place on campus. Our so stupid. This is so dumb. Oh, my God. This freaking rock. This rock is a symbolization. This symbolizes the racist roots in this country. This rock needs to be dismantled. It celebrates and shows what systematic racism is. It's, at its system, racist. Brad Hamilton spoke with a BSU this member. Guy. Look at this guy. He's like, I can't believe I have to talk about this stupid story. They sent me out here. I look ridiculous. I'm wearing a golf tee right now. I should be hitting it off the ninth hole. And he's live on campus tonight to tell us the physical and emotional lifts that went Yeah, hi, Barbara. I'm Brad. here in the middle of a field talking about a rock as if it was racist and had feelings and had emotions and also spoke. But, you know, it's 2021. We're progressing as a civilization. Well, since 1925, Chamberlain Rock set right here, as you can see. Well, right there. It's been there. Wow. The university today removed it from its spot as they're trying to bring this community back together. <laughs> this, this community has been devastated by this rock their whole life. God, now we can get together. Now that the rock's gone, we can finally have racial recognition. <laughs> recognition. <laughs> Reconciliation. Hold Rec that. This is a symbol of change. This is a symbol of a, a start to a new beginning. It's a deal the University of Wisconsin <laughs> so and hopes everyone can live with. For UW student and activist Aomi Obuse, it's at least progress. It means so much for myself, but it means something to everybody that's been at uh, I just, <laughs> I fear for this next generation. If people are losing their minds about a rock, imagine what it's like to get, well, have to have standards at a job. 
advocating for its removal. The Rock is officially named for former university president Thomas Crowder Chamberlain. But at it's the time guys. of this I wonder if any of these guys are like, what? Uh, we are just yeah, wasting money. He received a racial slur that was used to describe any dark or large boulder at the time. Some students have been calling for its removal <laughs> for years. <laughs> so Today's heavy lift felt like a weight off their shoulders. Well, because it's showing that you know, our hard work isn't going to waste, that if we keep pushing forward, change can come. Yes, and we must uproot every single racist rock in the country. It's a major epidemic. Screw COVID-19. Let's find all the racist rocks. We're seeing that like with events like today. The university says it costs $50,000, money coming from the chancellor's office and not tax dollars, all of which Obuse is grateful for. But our black student union also says in a statement today, there's much more work to be done. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let us find all the rocks. Now the rock was moved from, the rock was moved actually <laughs> here, right here. And it was also taken out on university owned land in Southeast Madison, but reporting live here in Madison tonight, Brett Hamilton, News 3 Now. <laughs> uh, new reporting information coming out. As the rock was moved, it actually yelled out racial slurs in midst of it moving. <laughs> I just had to bring that story to you because, you know, sometimes I do this show I I can't believe what we're reporting on in our society. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> just Oh god. If a rock if we're moving rocks I don't know what what is there a is there anything lower than a rock to be moved about a racial slur? We mu uh, maybe a, a dog or Maybe a dog that turned away from a black person all of a sudden is racist, and now we gotta kill every single one of that breed. Uh, what's the most racist breed of dog you can think of? <laughs> God, I just, I just hate us. I just hate our civilization so much. But at the same time, it's so it's just full of comedy gold because you can't write this stuff. They write it for you, and then you just play it, and it's just ridiculous. But as always, SNL struggles to make fun of this administration. God, God help them. Have a fantastic day. As always, I'll see you in the next episode of this is the stupidest news story of the day. Have a great day.